Good morning, agents, and welcome to another daily episode of Target the Loot today for October 7th. The series that shows you the Target the Loot map, farming tips and tricks, vendor reset highlights, and much more. I'm Agent Shadow, and if you enjoy my content, please consider smashing the subscribe, like, and share buttons below. Also in the pinned comment, there are links to join my Discord and clan, links to support the channel, like becoming a member, and a lot more. Anyway, let's get started with the Dark Zones first and the highlights from the vendors, then DC, and finally New York City Target Alu highlights last. Alright, so starting off with Dark Zone West, we got Hana Yu Target Alu. Nothing worth farming for because there's no DZ exclusive, but you also have the Rock and Roll Shotgun with Perfectly Extra at the Dark Zone West vendor today. This whole week, actually. Then in Dark Zone South, we do have a Raldo Holding Targeted Loop. Once again, no DZ exclusive, but you do have the Rail Splitter with Perfect Accurate at the DZ Vendor. I would definitely go pick that thing up for sure. And then DZ East, we got MMRs as Targeted Loot. Nothing in the Vendor, but you can get the Pen Prick, which is the, I believe, Perfect First Blood Talent on it. Otherwise, nothing I could recommend. So let's go check out the Northside Targeted Loot. All right, agents, we're over here on north side. So we got knee pads at Camp White Oak. That's the Ninja Bike Messenger knee pads, Fox's Prayer knee pads, and Sawyer's knee pads that you can farm for. Sawyer's knee pads gives you an extra 30% weapon damage up to 30 seconds as you're standing still. Ninja Bike reloads your weapon while you're doing cover to cover vaulting and plus gives you 25% bonus armor. And then Fox's Prayer gives you 8% damage to targets out of cover, which is multiplicative damage, the best damage in the game, and it's almost always worth running. But I would farm Overlord today in Downtown East if you're just looking for the Fox's Prayer. Alp Summit at Amusement Park if you're looking for a good chess piece with Empathetic Resolve for a healer build or the Percussive Maintenance with Perfect Tech Support. Shotguns at Manning National Zoo if you need the new mop that gives you 10% armor on kill. The Sweet Dreams Exotic Shotgun or if you want another shotgun you can get a Marine Super 90 or Custom M870. Either way on the mop I would roll close and personal as the talent on it. Kenley College we got 5 days left and then Providence Defense at the Summit so you can farm Heroic and Legendary Floors today to try to get the sacrifice of perfect glass cannon god roll or just a god roll of any providence piece that you've been needing for a while today is an amazing day for providence defense because you get to choose heroic or you know legendary you can choose your how good your loot's going to come out to be so definitely definitely hit sum it up today for sure let's go check out the west side Alright agents, west side target Alu highlights. So first off, I'm going to go with rifles at the White House. So that's a good classic M1A you can farm for, or the Diamondback or Merciless. With the classic M1A, I would definitely farm for one with Rifleman, Boomerang, or Ranger on it. You can also farm for the Baker's Dozen, which is also pretty good for the console players. Assault Rifles at West End if you want to farm for the Mechanical Animal, Future Perfection, the Maniac, or the Burnout named FAMAS. You can also get the Chameleon Exotic Assault Rifle or a top tier one like the FAMAS, Military AKM, Police M4, Carbine 7. We got some machine guns at Federal Emergency and over here at Potomac Event Center. So if you want to farm the Lady Death or the Backfire or refarm the Chatterbox. If you haven't gotten it yet, you can check out this video on the top right card right now. It's a quick five minute video on how to get it. Otherwise, I'd farm for a Vector variant or an MPX. You can't get the Apartment or Dark Winter, they're Dark Zone exclusives, but you can get the Safety Distance and Swap Chain for sure. Grupo Sombro at Roosevelt Island, one piece for DPS builds, two pieces for skill explosive damage builds, and then Hana Yu at West Atomic Park if you want the Force Multiplier backpack with perfect combined arms. That gives you an extra 30% skill damage every three seconds that you're shooting and hitting the target. And we also got doubles for Assault Rifle Target Elude at Tidal Basin. Chess pieces at DCD if you want the Tardigrade Exotic Chess Piece. And then Wyvernware at Lincoln if you need a good piece of Wyvernware. That's a great mission to run back, back and forth, back and forth. Takes me like 8 minutes to run it solo. And then holsters at the Pentagon, so the Imperial Dynasty holster. And then the Forge holster, which gives you an extra skill tier to your shield's hull. Finally, we got Petrov at Foggy Bottom for the Contractor's Gloves. It gives you 8% damage to the armor. And then Douglas and Harding, you can get the Punch Drunk Mass with 20% headshot damage baked into it. Any other mass like Coyotes or Vile, I would just farm Bank HQ today. Alright, let's go check out the Eastside Target Loot highlights. 
All right, agent. So east side target of loot highlights. We do got gloves at Judiciary Square. That's the BTSU gloves, and then the contractor's gloves with 8% damage to armor. Bellstone Armory at Viewpoint Museum. You can get the Everyday Carrier with Perfectly Efficient, I think it is, on it. And then the Perfect Bloodsucker Talon on the Liquid Engineer. I'm still not seeing dropping, and the spreadsheet still says that it's a Dark Zone exclusive. But if anyone has a screenshot of it dropped from an NPC, that would be amazing. Light Machine Guns at Federal Triangle if you need the Exotic Bullet King or Pestilence, or any of the named LMGs like the Carnage, the Slepner, or like the Quiet Roar. Walker Harrison Code, American History Museum, you can get the Headhunter, Perfect Headhunter chest piece, the Chain Killer, and then of course Gear System Mods at Jefferson Plaza if you need a 12% credit damage mod or something. Sokolov Concern at Space Admin. I have multiple build videos with Sokolov Chest or and Backpacks that I'll put in the top right card right now. Those are always worth farming for, for sure. All red, Sokolov Chest, Backpack, all pieces. And then yeah, that's about it for the east side target of loot. Let's check out New York City and I'll let you guys go. All right, agents, New York City target of loot highlights. So we got Badger Tough at Financial District. You can get the Zero S chest piece with Perfectly Unbreakable. I also have another build video I'll put in the top right card right now that has that chest piece and it's amazing. Got doubles for gear system mods at Wall Street and gear sets at Stranded Tanker. If you want system corruption, that's a DZ exclusive or Foundry Bulwark or Future Initiative chest and backpack pieces. That's a raid exclusive. Anything else you can get to drop at gear set targeted loot. Other than that, nothing else I could really recommend in the New York City area. So that's it for the targeted loot highlights for New York City. All right, agents. Well, that was the targeted loot for today. Thank you so much for watching and be sure to subscribe and like if you enjoyed my content. If you would also like to become a member, click the join button below to further support my dream of being a full-time content creator or grab some new shadow gaming merchandise. I just put up a bunch of new merchandise yesterday. And then also you can join my Patreon or subscribe star if you want to support alt tag. Either way, if you're still watching to the end of this video, I really appreciate it. Thank you for still listening and watching. Anyway, take care agents and be sure to stay tuned for more daily dedicated Division 2 content. This is Agent Shadow signing off. I will see you in the next video. Take care agents.